Hi everyone, today we're looking at Ultra Virus Killer, which is also known as UVK. Uh, UVK is basically a multi-featured malware removal and system repair tool. Um, it's basically supposed to be an everything in one tool, what you run within Windows. Um, so we're going to have a look at it and show you some of the features and uh, go from there. Here's a quick shout out to our sponsors who are ALM Wholesale, they're basically the laptop suppliers to repair and retail stores worldwide. Hi guys, today we're looking at Ultra Virus Killer, also known as UVK. Um, we bought the branding version, so this means it's branded under our name, uh, so our company name, so when we're using it at um, someone's house or business, um, it comes up with our details on it rather than uh, UVK or Ultravirus Killer's details, uh, which is a nice thing. Uh, the full version, which is branded, works out at £70, uh, sorry, so that's 70 US dollars. Uh, there are other versions in between uh, and there's also a free version as well but again we're using the branding version which is the one what's 70 US dollars uh, which without getting exchange rate it's going to be around about 50 55 pounds right okay so I'm going to be using the portable version today um, so let's open that up as you can see it loads up pretty quick it's got our branding in the middle and you can see all the options in there so You've got help, you've got about, you've got options in there, so you can change things like request, uh, requesting a password um, to load the program and stuff like that. Um, but I'll run you through the basic tasks and things on here, what they do. So you first thing is you've got System Booster, which is ideal. It gets rid of junk files, restore points if you obviously tick them uh, or select all. Uh, but it also gets rid of uh, invalid file extensions and invalid shared dills and all sorts of different things like that. And all you do is once you've ticked all the ones you want it to do or press select all, you just press start scan. And that'll just basically go through the machine and find all the issues it's going to do and it'll tell you how much junk and so forth. And then it gives you the options of do you want to delete everything or you can then select um, or unselect things you don't want it to delete. Uh, and, but generally you usually delete everything but obviously that's down to preference so I'm just going to cancel that scan because obviously I don't want to be waiting here ages uh, so I'll be sure you want to cancel and that's where you get the option do you want to delete selected items and it also gives you an option for creating a restore point before you do just in case uh, if we go back to the home page you got smart in uninstaller so you can see all of the different things what are on here what you want to uninstall so you can you see this machine what we're using it on is being used for games and so forth uh, but let's just say you wanted to use it you wanted to uninstall say Jurassic Park you wanted to take off um, Microsoft Office uh, OneDrive and whatever you can un you can tick them all you can use the force uninstall and even try the unattended version which basically means uh, it'll do automatically without prompting you anything. You can just tick those boxes and then basically press uninstall selected and it'll do everything for you. It's as simple as that. Um, so let's go back onto the next section. You've got a uh, quick user manager. This is where you can change your user controls um, as in disable um, the accounts, you can uh, set passwords, you can set passwords to expire or never expire um, or not even be changed or it automatically logs in this user each time you've got quite a few different things so you basically just click on uh, whichever account it is and then you tick um, which options are required um, so that's obviously up to yourself and you can even also create a new uh, user account as well so let's click back on home so you got uh, system immunization so you've got that so basically you can tell basically UVK to basically set it up so it prevents certain things from changing on the machine like registry startup items and different things like that again you can press um, immunize for all of them uh, you can even um, do a registry backup beforehand and, and it's got the option to restore it as well uh, so it's pretty um, straightforward and easy to use. Uh, next is system repair. 
and if we go down this list you see all the different repairs and different things you can do but let's just say you wanted to do some virus removal or something along that lines you can select multiple different things at once so if we wanted to enable the Windows installer in safe mode, we can. We can put technician power saving set on, create a system restore point, free up physical memory, uh, enable legacy F8 boot menu. So you've got the options for um, start in safe mode with networking or whichever uh, you want. You've got some third, third party apps on there which are built in. Um, it will automatically update them as well if you run them. So you've got Malwarebytes, Super Anti Spyware, Road Killer, and so forth. Most of the things you'd use for uh, getting rid of malware viruses and stuff like that are all in there. One thing to note on that side of things is most of these are the free products you can download online and they are free but um, a slight concerning thing is most of these products do actually say in their user terms and conditions that they cannot be used for commercial or business use uh, unless you've got a specific um, pro version or whatever but these are free ones so I'm hoping and guessing that the guys at UVK uh, have actually come to some agreement with the likes of Super Anti Spyware, Malware Bytes, Kaspersky and so forth so they can actually use the tools in the commercial setting or business setting but obviously that's for them to make sure they've done not me so i'm guessing they have so if you want to run all those tests you can and let's just say you want to reset internet explorer settings chrome firefox dns cache fix internet explorer history you can hide c you can do check c uh, disk you can unhide it you can install the latest java flash DirectX, and so forth uh, you can empty all the recycle bins, clean up. There's that many things on here. It'll take me all day to read them all out, but you get the the basics. It's got all these things, and if you wanted to basically um, run the full scans instead of the quick scans, like for example malware bytes and super spyware, you can or using the tick box here. Uh, you can. Um, use the unattended mode and that means that 99% of the time it'll do every single thing you want it without prompting you to do a single thing um, so you can press on that uh, and you can also press play a sound when it's done um, so obviously if you're in a different room or in a different part of the workshop you can hear it make a ping noise and it'll say hey I'm done basically um, you can actually save these settings if you wanted onto your computer uh, or into the folder on a USB memory stick or whatever so if you do the same tests or things when you're giving a machine a service or a virus um, removal or whatever every single time you can basically save the script and then you basically go onto another machine load the program up and you press load settings find the script file and load it up and it pre-ticks everything for you so it's uh, pretty good that way it makes things a lot lot a uh, lot easier and quite easy to actually use um, again we'll go back to the home page see what else there is you've got ultra adware killer uh, if i'm right the guys at uvk actually make this program uh, but that will go through scan your machine and look for adware in things from your um, standard programs auto star and your browsers and stuff like that you do have a lot of other options on here like process manager you can see all the things what are running on the machine and the processes what are going off as usual Google Chrome is um, sort of hogging everything up there as you can see um, but you've got all your different options there memory module manager again you can see everything in there is pretty straightforward and if you want you can delete specific modules uh, you've got auto run manager you've got a service manager so again, you can see all the services what are running on the machine. Uh, you've got um, alternate stream manager. You've got delete files and folders, scan and create logs. You can run scripts. You've got even tools and tweaks. So that's got loads of different tools and stuff and tweaks in there. Most of these things are actually things what are built into Windows, though, I've noticed. Um, but again, they're handy to have them all in one place. Uh, but you've got all those there. Uh, you've got backup and recovery. I've not used that too much, but in theory, I'm guessing it should work very similar um, to how Fabs work uh, works, or probably a more basic version of Fabs. But um, it's something we'll have to try out at some point and see if it's uh, um, uh, how good it actually is. 
Um, you've also got system info, obviously, tells you the information about the system, so your CPU speed, version windows, and all your different bits and bobs there. Uh, you've got registry seeker. So that's the basics of it, but there's so much more in the program that it would actually take probably a year to show you every feature. You can also right click on most things, get an even bigger menu system. Overall, we rate this an extremely good product uh, and we're very, very, very happy with it. If you would like to read more about this product, please go to our website, which is www.tech4text.co.uk. The link is also in the description. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe um, and give us a good thumbs up if you like it. Uh, otherwise, thanks again for watching and see you next time.